What's up everyone, Jay here from Tap and Turn Gaming, coming at you with another Commander 2015 deck unboxing. This video we're going to be taking a look at the deck Wade into Battle, which is the Boros colored deck, uh, led by Calamine Disciple of Iroas. That's our foil oversized card. Uh, let's flip it around here and take a look at some of the stuff on the back. Uh, we get some previews of some of the cards that are in the deck. Uh, this one's particularly nice. That's like a $15 card, I want to say. So it's pretty cool to see that reprinted. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, let's just take a look at this little paragraph here. Wade into battle. Calamine, Disciple of Iroas, is a giant who's right at home on the front ranks of a fight. Her power increases as more large creatures answer her call. So her lightning fast... Sword swings grow deadlier as the battle wages on. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, probably very on theme for a Boros colored deck. Uh, as far as the contents go, same as always. The 100 card commander deck, obviously. Your foil oversized commander card. 10 double sided token cards. A deck storage box. A deck strategy insert. And your rules reference card. So, that's pretty much everything on the outside of the box. Let's get it on open and take a look at the inside of the box and what else this deck has to offer. If I can stop having a dirt moment trying to get this out of here. There we go. <laughs> Put that off to the side. There's our Oversized foil Calamine Disciple of Iroas. So, I thought it was a guy, honestly. So apparently it's a girl. I was mistaken. So we'll put her off to the side. Open our deck storage box and inside is our deck. With some of our tokens. Uh, we have Lightning Rager up front and center there. We'll get that open in a second. We have our deck strategy insert, which is basically just a list of the cards in the deck. And... You know, basically it telling you how you should play it. Uh, and your rules reference card, so if you're new to Magic the Gathering, this is a good little place to start to learn how to play the game. So, let's start cracking this open. We're going to zoom in here. Let's start taking a look at the rest of the Wade into Battle deck. So we've got our tokens here. Just gonna kind of skim through those. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of tokens, blah, blah, blah. So we have an Arescos Explorer, a Stink Drinker Daredevil, Don Glare Invoker, Stone Shock Giant, Thundercloud Shaman, War Chief Giant, Herald of the Host, Sandstone Oracle. Soul Ring, naturally. Uh, Boro Signet with new art. I really like that art a lot. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I like it when they just put new art on reprint cards. Just makes me happy. <laughs> uh, we have a Cold Steel Heart. Felwar Stone. Lightning Greaves, naturally. A Mind Stone. Thought Vessel. Basalt Monolith. Boros Clue Stone, Dark Steel Ingot, Worn Power Stone. A lot of mana rocks in this deck, but uh, naturally, you know, I guess it makes sense because in order to get experience counters off of Calamine, you have to be uh, you have to be casting creatures with five or greater uh, mana cost. So uh, you probably want quite a few mana rocks in in a, in a deck like this. Dreamstone Hedron, Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Banishing Light, Faith's Fetters, Rite of the Raging Storm, Fall of the Hammer, Crib Swap, Orm's Thunder. We have a Breath of Daragaz, Meteor Blast, and then uh, we got a random mountain thrown in the center of the deck. That's a little odd. <laughs> But uh, here's Calamine. So she's a 4-cost 3-3 three, three legendary giant soldier with double strike and vigilance. Whenever you cast a guy with 5 or greater uh, sorry, 5 or greater mana cost, you get an experience counter. And Calamine, Disciple of Iroas, gets plus 1, plus 1 for each experience counter that you have. So every time you cast a guy 
with five or higher mana cost. She gives you experience counters and she just gets friggin' huge off of the amount of counters that you have. So, uh, you know, you keep bringing her back into the fight as long as you, you know, have her on the board when you're casting those five or greater mana cost guys, she's just going to get bigger and meaner and nastier. Then we have Anya, Merciless Angel. Uh, five cost, four, four flyer. Gets plus three, plus three for each opponent whose life total is less than their starting life total. As long as an opponent's life total is less than their start, uh, less than half his or her starting life total, she's indestructible. So uh, I actually like this card better than Calamine, honestly. Um, I mean, I could definitely, uh, you know, see some pretty brutal decks that you could build this around, especially in multiplayer. You know, if you're playing like a four-player game and all three of your opponents are at less than 20, she's going to get, what, plus nine, plus nine, and she's going to be indestructible. That, that's going to be hard to deal with. Now here's a really, really nice reprint in Gisela Blade of Gold Knight. I know that's, uh, you know, over 10 bucks right there, so pretty nice. Then we have Inferno in Sun Titan. Pretty cool reprints there. We have an Angel of Serenity. Uh, new card, Magus of the Wheel. Uh, I was really hoping that they were going to do another, uh, like, cycle of Maguses, but we only got a red one. So there's Magus of the Wheel. We have Calamine's Captain. Dawnbreak Reclaimer. And we have Dream Pillager. Blade of Selves. Taurine Mauler, Desolation Giant. And these cards are like stuck together. Another one stuck together. Uh, Famiku the Low Blood, Hunted Dragon. My hands are a little sweaty. It's a little warm in here. So, uh, Sunrise Sovereign. And we have Hammer Fist Giant, Hostility, Jareth Lane and Titan. Just making sure quite a few of these are like stuck together. Uh, Victory's Herald, Hamlet Back Goliath, Arbiter of Null Ridge, Borderland Behemoth, Magma Giant, Loxodon Warhammer, Urza's Incubator, Seer's Sundial, Staff of Nin. I don't like how these are stuck together. Warstorm Surge, Fiery Confluence, Disaster Radius. Sorry for those going off frame there. I'm trying to make it so, uh, you know, they're like all stuck together and stuff. Uh, earthquake, man. And we have an ancient, ancient amphitheater. And then we're into our basics. So we've got, you know, our mountains. Even these are stuck together too. Our plains. And we have our non-basics, vivid crag, vivid meadow, windscarred crag, blasted landscape, Boros Garrison and Guildgate, Command Tower, Drifting Meadow, Evolving Wilds, Forgotten Cave, Secluded Step, Smoldering Crater, and Terramorphic Expanse. So that about wraps up the unbox for the Wade into Battle Commander deck. I apologize for <laughs> the cards being stuck together. I hope I didn't miss any of the cards that were in the deck. It's a little odd that they were all kind of stuck together like that, but uh, just zoom out here. So that about wraps up things here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this unbox video. If you did, thumbs up the video. Let me know that you enjoyed it so we know to keep making uh, videos like this in the future. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section below the video. Let me know what you think of, uh, of this deck. If there are any cards that you are uh, pretty excited about from this deck or any of the other ones, you know, let me know. Discuss all that good stuff. I like to hear your comments and suggestions. And if you're not already subscribed to Tap and Turn Gaming, please crush that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. But this has been Jay with Tap and Turn Gaming. Again, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll catch you later. Thanks a lot for watching.